Tech speeder bikes. Never got to ride one.
Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. Okay I'm Cal. Sister Task. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, noble one. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your or- Give me a second. I think I'll browse a little. Get me the fuck out of here. Seer. I couldn't save Hermias. He gave his life for this. I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Cal. And the Empire? They did not track us. Hey, Scrapper. Had you made it back in one piece? I 
Mr. Cordova. Did you find a way across the abyss? No. But you may have, Cal. Boat and I were able to find some interesting data in the archives. Let's show them what we dug up. Centuries ago, the Republic established the colony on Kovo to study a stellar anomaly known as the Abyss. Santari Kree led the research team. That sea with them. Early attempts to navigate the Abyss ended in disaster. The Republic was on the verge of abandoning the project. And then guess who volunteers to fly in alone and discovers a planet on the other side? Dagon. Using the data from his voyage, Kree invented the Abyss Compass to guide others safely to Tannel. The Republic established a settlement. The Jedi built a temple. Just like you said, John. Regrettably, a time of peace and prosperity was disrupted with outer rim marauders in the... I saw them, too. But how'd they get across the Abyss? They must have stolen the compass. Don't worry, we won't be so careless. Overwhelmed, the Republic abandoned Tannel. And the Jedi Council ordered Kree to destroy the compass. But Dagnera refused and rebelled against the Order. That is a Gendai. They do not often ally with other species. Looks like Ravis has been working with Dagon for a lot longer than we thought. So the Order sent Jedi to secure the compasses. <coughs> Dagon murders them over it. Jedi killing other Jedi. But Centauri said that Dagon was the key to take. <coughs> Maybe he is young Jedi. Despite my efforts, those compasses you brought me were beyond repair. However, records indicate that three were unaccounted for. So you're saying one might still be out there? Yes, and Dagon sent his army to look for it. <laughs> I'd ask you to stay and help us, but I recognize that look. A look. Hope. That planet could be a haven for those who stand against the Empire. So you coming with us? I mean, Breeze can make room on the Mantis. For all of you. No. This place needs me. The Hidden Path needs me. Cordova? I'm sorry, my friend. But for now, my place is on Jeddah with Seer. Let me prepare a data stick so you'll have access to our research wherever your journey takes you. Let me guess. You're staying too. When we first met, I thought that what we shared was... unique. Survivors. Fighting together against the Empire who took our families. Yeah. You helped me realize I wasn't alone. As did you. But there is a galaxy full of people who have suffered as we have. It's as you said. Perhaps you have found a sanctuary for them. Perhaps. <clears throat> if we can get to it. I will join you. Besides, it's been far too long since I've made Grease's hair stand on end. See you back on the Mantis night, sister. Exactly the cleaning types. I cleaned this morning. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's on me. Mary, I didn't know you were coming. Hey, maybe I'll pick up some scas steaks. Why'd you join back up anyways? Sierra and I believe Tandalor could be a refuge for those persecuted by the Empire. Persecuted by the Empire, huh? Gonna get crowded.
Get over here, kid. We're about to land. We just got here. another visit. Took a shine of that droid you found. See? They took her, Cal. Carried her right out. She's been droid napped. My saloon better be okay, Turgle. I think you brought this down on us. I'm innocent, Mr. Grease. Promise! Dagon sent them. He's after Tantalor. There must be something more dizzy than we realized. Something scrambled up in her memory bank. We have to rescue her. Once he gets what he wants, he'll scrap her for sure. It won't be easy to get her back. <clears throat> the raider base is in the swamp. They gutted an old Luker Hulk battleship from the Clone Wars. We've seen it. Means they got a lot of firepower. As do we. She's right. Now's our time to move. I like where this is going. They already have what they came for. They're back at their fortress feeling safe, complacent. They'll never see it coming. Maybe not. But if you're wrong, then they'll be looking for payback. There's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested water and go down in your valley. All right, all right. You know, yeah. Ah, fine. Twist my arm. I'll do it. Meet me at the saloon and we'll appraise this so called tank. <laughs> so, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Not sharing stories will go find i'll tell you at your own assistance and at your own peril my story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of sakavita my home world nights black as quillfish in it winter so cold a stern look can turn you to glass doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up difficult hey from the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it on frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the billy eating now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakarian with an instinct for the rod. Is 
you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spoke to my first prickly chin there. I was given an audience with Undan. But that'd be a tale for another time. Thank you. 